of their lives. News 11's Crystal Jimenez brings us these details. It's summer wildlife animals are provided sanctuary from different types of owls to hawks and even doves. This wildlife rehabilitation program helps these animals get back on their feet. For some time now, Yuma didn't have a place for wildlife to be rescued, but now Vita Wildlife Rehabilitation is up and running. The need for it is that, you know, there's got to be a place for these animals to come. Years ago, AWC used to have a rehabilitation program that faded away. From there was up to game and fish to handle wildlife. But now after securing the necessary permits, Vita is able to step in and help. Somebody would come in, bring the animals to game and fish, or they'd call game and fish and one of our wildlife managers would go out and get them and then we would, you know, send them out to whatever rehabber was available. Having a group of experts to handle wildlife is important because of the dangers that animals could pose to humans who try to interact with them. Don't try to catch these animals yourself if you don't have any experience. They are very, especially owls and raptors, they can be very aggressive. They can bite, they can scratch, and they can send you to the hospital. Vita is looking for land to begin building a central location for all of their wildlife animals. They are assisting 15 different animals, teaching them how to hunt and survive so they can be released. One of the birds the Wildlife Center has is an owl named Waffles, who has a bone disease. <laughs> Waffles was taken in by a couple years ago and wasn't fed the proper nutrition. So now she lives at one of the rehabilitation homes as an education bird. If you come across a wildlife animal you believe needs help, you can contact Vita Wildlife. You can head over to KYMA.com for that information. Reporting in Yuma, I'm Crystal Jimenez. Is cleaning the outside of your house an exhausting all-day affair? Not anymore. 